morning everybody. My name is Darlene and I have Parkinson's. It's a little later in the day for me to be doing now. It's 1030 at night. Um, I didn't do a video yesterday as you all know. Um, and today I was sitting on the pity pot for a little while. So if anybody doesn't know what the pity pot is, it's where you sort of wallow in your own sorrows for no reason and kind of make everybody around you grumpy as all get out. And I tried not to do that, but I couldn't help myself. I I just, every once in a while it happens. I think I'm snapping out of it now. I'm trying hard to make myself snap out of it. Had a day planned today where it was going to be a good day. We were going to go and do a little bit of shopping. I was going to get to go tootle through the new Walmart store and whatnot and go to the dollar store. And by the time I was there, I was sitting there thinking to myself in my chair how I couldn't move my hands and I couldn't really enjoy myself shopping because I couldn't I couldn't think straight, you know, when you're not moving very well, you're not thinking very straight. And so I just sort of went, this isn't as fun as I thought it was going to be. So we picked up a few middle, middle and things, you know, nothing much that I needed. And I just carried everything on the list that I had over to the next list. And I'll try to get more enjoyment another time when I go out. <laughs> but anyway, that's just me. I was just having a bit of a rougher day. I think I, I think ahead of time, I'm, I'm looking forward to and dreading at the same time having an injection tomorrow. Uh, it's time for the next one on the C6 nerve block, but um, on the left hand side. So it's time for that one tomorrow. And I, I know that they're very helpful for me, but I still get a little bit nervous about it because you know, they're going in through your um, nerves and putting this little block of pain in there or pain blocker. And if they did a little movement that they shouldn't have done, it could cause you more problems or it could not, not work or not work as well. They've been very good so far and I've definitely had such relief. It's amazing. So I want it to continue, but I, I still worry a little bit when I go to do it. The hardest part of the whole thing is for to lay on my stomach because I've got this silly pump that's running into my stomach. So Claudine went and bought a nice big bandage that's going to go over top of it. So we could maybe get me onto my stomach and have that improve it a little bit. The other thing is I put a little bit of weight on, not a lot, but a little bit of weight. And as much as the weight is healthy for me because I was looking a little haggard and, not, you know, I was looking too thin. Excuse me, the weight is definitely good for me. It's also not good for me because I'm not gaining weight like in all proportions all over. I'm getting sort of a little tire around my middle, which is the hard part. When you don't have a lot of movement in your arms and your legs, you need your core strength and you don't have much core strength when you start to put a little bit on weight wise around the middle. So my planking ability is getting a little bit less than it was. And uh, I find myself sort of not wanting to do it as often. So I'm buckling back under, I'm going to try and, you know, I'm not going to, I'll never say that I'm going to diet again, never ever, because struggling with my weight my entire life, when it started to come off, I really liked the fact that it was coming off, but the fact that it made me so sick and I didn't know why it was coming off was a whole different battle. Don't ever want that to happen. But what I want to do instead is to choose healthy choices when I'm eating um, rather than having unhealthy choices. I say that after I've eaten a handful of corn nuts. Uh, between ice cream, meat sticks and snacks, I don't know when to stop. So I have to go back to what I was doing. I, I What I was doing was saying, doesn't matter what it is, as long as I have something healthy before it and have a very reasonable amount. And that's where I have to settle in on it. And if I do that, that's a recommended success for me. And I will be healthy. I want to stay as healthy as I can. I, I don't want to feel tired. It's easy for my emotions to get kind of um, out of whack if I'm you know, thinking, oh, woe is me. I have to be positive. I'm a very positive person at most times. But lately, when I've been losing the ability to do things, it's harder and harder to accept. You know, like, I have to just accept, like, I couldn't make the casserole the other night that I wanted to. Good night. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't make the casserole that I wanted to. And, you know, just little things like that. But I'm I'm just not going to stop trying. And then I, when my brain's not working, I I came down in the middle of the night last night. This is what I mean by my brain not working. I came downstairs in the middle of the night because I was awake. Felt like I was doing pretty good. So I didn't think that I, 
was had a problem with sitting up on the tablet for a little bit. So I made, because I can't write with a pen anymore, I decided I was going to type out a couple of lists because we were going to do the shopping trip. So I see Claudine's having her surgery at the end of November. So I have to have all my Christmas shopping and whatnot done before that. So I put everything on the list that I wanted to, to pick up and whatnot, not meaning that I was going to do it all in the next few days, but in the next six weeks, I'm going to do it all. So I thought, well, I'll take one of the stores and I will do a little bit of shopping there. Well, I made all these lists and four different times I made the same list for groceries. Four different times because I had to add things or I changed which store I was going to buy them at or, you know, just little changes and whatnot. So I printed the list four different times before I had exactly what I wanted. And when I picked up the list this morning to give it to Claudine to say, here's what I figured we needed, she took a look and she said, you don't have any groceries on here. I said, I've got a whole list of groceries. I, I know I had a whole list of it. I had four that I had printed out and typed out and they're gone somewhere. I have no idea what I did with them. I must have thrown them out. And for what reason did I do that? I have no idea. Like I, I have no idea. And the things that I had on there, I started naming off some of the things that I knew I had on there. And she says, we don't need that. We, I just bought four pounds of butter. We don't need any more butter. Um, you know, we, what do you want the eggs and the wraps for? We can, if we'll get the wraps at Costco. I said, well, I thought it'd be easy for breakfast, you know, just to have a breakfast burrito that my worker can just put in the microwave for me. She goes, mom, I can make those for you. And we have all the regular sausages. We don't need to buy extra sausage. We've got a freezer full of meat. See, I, I, my brain wasn't working enough to even think about that. So that's just, okay, well, that's me now sitting on my pity pot again. I'm going to rise and shine up off this pity pot and I'm going to hopefully put on my happy hat and I'm going to go and get my pain injection tomorrow and maybe I'll be a happier girl after that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop here. Have yourself a good day and we'll chat with you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.